All right, today we got a new battery. Let's open it up. We have our user's manual, packing foam, and there's the battery. So this is a 12 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Seacon. Let's get a weight on this. And uh, we came in at 42.4 pounds. Let's get this guy charged up and then we'll do a capacity test. All right, the battery is fully charged. We are hooked up to the shunt. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the inverter on. And uh, I've got the AC hooked up as the load. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's try it at medium. There we go. All right, so we're pulling about 580 watts, 43 amps. I'll just let that continue on and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, guys, so we are down to 1% left on the capacity test. We're at 198.25 amp hours, 2,574 watt hours right now. Still going strong. I switched over to the heater from the AC unit because uh, the sun went down, it got a little bit cooler, and this thing was kind of not drawing that much power. So I didn't want this test to take forever. So I switched over to the heater. <laughs> We're almost there. Here it comes. Bam, 200 amp hours. 2,596 watt hours. And we're still going. We've still got pretty solid voltage going. And we'll just let it keep going to see what we get. All right, we're still going 209.17 amp hours. The inverter's probably gonna start complaining here real soon. It usually does it around 10.5 volts over here. Oh, there it goes. So let's go ahead and kill the test there. And we have 210.12 amp hours, 2,715 watt hours. Very good. All right, so I got the lid completely removed. And inside, we have a chunky BMS. I thought this was gonna have a smaller one, but it does look like it may be a 200 amp. Let's try to remove this foam right here. There we go. It is a 200 amp BMS. It says right here. It's in Chinese here. I see a 200 amp and then a 100 amp. It may be 200 amp discharge, 100 amp charge. And it looks a lot like a dolly, although it doesn't say it on it. And we have these large two gauge silicone wires on the negative side. 
However, on the positive side, we have a 6 gauge. Let's see if we can get these cells out. All right, so that was pretty easy. They came out without too much trouble. I do see QR codes here. Yeah, let me see if I can scan these QR codes. All right, so I did get a scan. However, they're unknown. It is lithium iron phosphate. Not much more data known here. It uh, shows a production date. And uh, that's about it. I am noticing that the cells are they're shifted. So that seems like something, you know, you can see it's kind of bowed here. And then these are shifted up. So, yeah, it seems like it's does it have a lot of bracing on the cells? There is some material between each cell. All right, so check this out. I was uh, examining the side of the BMS right here, and I noticed it said UART. So that this is a smart BMS. They just did not install a Bluetooth dongle on it. So I have one, and I plugged it in, and it is, we're able to connect to it. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> There's our cell voltages there, 3.287, 3.287, 3 3 3.288, 3.286. So yeah, it's actually a smart BMS. So let's check out the settings. So it says rated capacity, 200 amp hours. Let's check out the temperature protection. So see, it's, it's set to negative 40 C on the low temp protect. And that's what I see a lot on Dali BMSs. They come stock with that, and I don't know why. Uh, so let's go ahead and test the low temp protection. I have a feeling it's going to be hard to trigger because it's set so low. But let's try it anyway, and then we can go in there and actually change it. Obviously, you won't be able to if you buy this battery because they did not you know, include the Bluetooth dongle, so you won't be able to get into it. Okay, so the charger's running. Let's take a look at the app. It says we're doing 29 amps. Let's hit it with a duster. Yeah, it's still going. I think if we really hit it hard here. There it goes. Now it turns off. <laughs> you know, if you were able to get into this BMS, you could change it to, let's see. Zero. Oh, there's a password. Oh, that worked. So the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're charging again. And now this time it should turn off sooner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was much easier because we changed the temperature at which it triggers to zero instead of negative 40. <laughs> All right, yeah, too bad that they don't include the little USB dongle in there and this would just be a smart battery, you know, for probably not much more cost. I don't know. I don't know how much these cost. I don't think they're very much. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be it for the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll leave links in the description and I'll catch you in the next one.